Big My Secret is another lovely piece from the 1993 movie The Piano. And it feels very much like an improvisation, just letting the notes flow freely in organic piano textures that Michael Nyman finds over only six chords in D major. This is The River Flows in You of the 90s. score in this video because of copyright reasons and it's fun when you try to analyze it because it feels like it's just new things all the time keeps developing in contrast to the other major piece in the movie the heart asked pleasure first which is kind of a rondo form where everything comes back so this is more of an improvisation and i'll just say a few things and then play through the piece So first we have this uh, progression with the textures. It starts with 16th notes, kind of a slow feel. And then when the piece uh, continues, we get 32nd notes, first with like scales and ornaments on this. These kind of textures, uh, arabesques, moving around a little bit more life to them. And then eventually, the 32nd note takes on more repeated patterns, like this one. And we get these full chords in the left hand. So it's uh, growing the energy through the piece. And when the 32nd note comes first, I feel this classical vibe, like when we start playing this. influence from a classical sonata. So just for example, let's look at Beethoven's sonata in E-flat major called The Hunt. The first moment, we have this same kind of arabesques here. And so on. And uh, in the piano, the repeated patterns it's also new all the time like you can't just know the chords and play the melody it's new interesting exciting uh, patterns because if you improvise you can find these kind of you take it's always the melody on top and then some chord notes and passing notes underneath in some pattern and you can find them when you improvise and play chord but Michael Nyman has found like the perfect ones that fits perfectly and keeps it interesting that's how it is a composition in the final form so for example, we have um, the inverted Alberto bass. So Alberto bass, if it's in the bass, or left hand, and on, but now with the melody on top. And then we have the uh, Yeruma River Flows in You texture, when we get the, so in uh, River Flows in You, we have this kind of thing. Now with the 16th note. Like going a scale up, filling out the chord. And um, in the piano, we have here. Yeah, but as you can see, it, it changes. So it's really rich in uh, textures. And now let's look at the form. So again, it feels like it's just continuing with new material, but there are actually, we have a few cadences throughout the piece. It's four times we go to a clear cadence in D major, and these are points of stability, and it feels a little bit like it's starting new. So 
you can say that there are four parts and then part three and part four follows roughly part one and two uh, with the harmony and the melody notes but there's very rich variation in texture and also after the start they break off in new directions even with the harmony and melody notes um, but every time we have this cadence we also have one motif uh, that's the only motivic material that returns and we have it in the beginning We get these eighth notes in a rising and then falling. So then in the end of part one, if you call it that, we have this uh, very clear cadence now with two five one. Then just show a little bit um, the start of part three. It starts with B minor, same as the beginning. That's the motif. And finally, part four, we're in uh, cadence to D again. These are like the small things you can recognize to know where you are in the piece. And finally, with the harmony, it's in D major and sometimes alluding to B minor. It starts like in B minor, for example, but they are relative keys. It's a lot of the same uh, idea in uh, the heart of pleasure first. In the middle section, it goes between A minor and C, relative keys. Here it's a bit the same, but eventually the more the piece goes, it's more gravitating to D and it ends in D as well. And the thing with this piece is that it's only playing within this tonality. So it's only using the scale notes of a D major scale. And the chords that are within the scale. So we have D is a 1, E minor is a 2, F sharp minor 3, T major 4, A major 5, the dominant, and B minor the 6. And the 7 diminished. There is in one place, in bar 7, we have, it, it's not very clear because it's in an inversion, but it's there, the 7, but it's only that one place, but it's still, you know, infinite number of combinations, uh, and that's just the basic chords. He also uses quite prominently inversions, so for example in the beginning, in bar 4, we have D, but in second inversion with A in the bass, to G in first inversion with an arabesque back to D in second inversion and here that 7 diminished and then he also sometimes plays with some spicy notes that are not part of the chord but comes naturally with the melody so, for example, in bar 12, we have this G, we go from so land on the C sharp over G, and this is the sharp fourth in G, and that is what we call a Lydian chord or a Lydian feel. It's really like uh, pointing upward in some way. now again. That's pretty much all I have to say about this before I play through. And a special shout out to my Patreon sponsors T Del Negro and S Freeman. And now I hope you enjoy my rendition of this great modern composition. <laughs> 